So Noble on third down, gonna step up in the pocket. Delivers a ball across to Quinn Wimmer. Wimmer's gonna make a man miss. Tiptoeing out across the 35, and what a great pass from Skylar Noble. He's hobbling and slow to get up, but not gonna let anything stop him. Huge play from Skylar Noble. Michael Colangelo flying in there to make a sack. Noble getting fired up right now, looking to the sideline as they're gonna let Clark Baker come in and take a couple snaps at quarterback. Trip to the top of your screen. Rose will be the sole receiver to the bottom. He's gonna look over the middle, and Dom Norris. Good catch there across midfield and across the Redlands 45 for a first down. Just what the Hens needed here, under seven minutes to go. Midway through this third quarter, they needed a big conversion, they needed a big play. Skylar Noble and Dom Norris deliver. Play action to Edwards. Cullen Camp's got a man open, it's Mason Cotton wide open to the 45. Slips and is just shy of the 50, but that is a good for a CMS first down. Jamison in as the running back, Easton Noble's right. And it's Radis at the top of your screen wearing number 82. So Jamison now in motion into the flats. Noble feels pressure and he's got nowhere to go. And guess who it is? Styles. Satterley in on the sack and the Sagehands will be forced to punt it away again. So bunch set again for the Stags. Might be another run play to the man Justin Edwards. Gonna be a fake pitch, Fogel's gonna keep it. Doesn't have much to go and he breaks free and Zach Fogel gonna put the first points up on the board in the Sixth Street rivalry game. And I mentioned Fogel has the legs and showcases it there. CMS six, Pomona Pitzer zero. So a good kick. Gonna be fielded at the five by Williams. Gonna fumble the kick. And a big shot coming. Number 41, William Welch. You could hear that hit from all the way up here in the press box. Baker back to pass on second down. He's going to roll to his left. Looking across the middle of the field. He's got Quinn Wimmer. Wimmer's going to catch and run. He's going to go to the 20. And just stripped up there. Great pitch and catch from Clark Baker to Quinton Wimmer. And a big first down for Pomona Pitzer. But nonetheless, two productive plays from Clark Baker at quarterback. Leaves the Sage Hens with a third and short. Noble. Going to go on the draw, hurdles the defender. He's going to get out for the first down. Very acrobatic play from Skyler Noble. He really can do it all. He can run, he can throw, and yes, he can jump. So Noble going to run again. He's coming to his left. Got a lot of lead blockers in front. Noble into the end zone. Touchdown, Pomona Pitzer. Skyler Noble, third rushing touchdown tonight. And the Sagehens, this is their football game. They now lead 34 to 7, PAT ensuing. So now Clark Baker to the bottom of your screen. Rosemney, Quentin Wimmer, and Radis to the top. Dom Norris to Noble's left. Noble out of motion to the flats. Pump fake to him. Noble's going to roll right. Looks to the end zone. He's got a Quentin Wimmer. Touchdown, Sagehens. Second and nine. So under center goes Noble again, something we don't see a lot from the Sage Hen offense. So Barry, the lone receiver, to the bottom. Quentin Wimmer and Dom Norris now come in motion to give a reverse. Cole Barry's got a lot of room in front of him. My dad is waving bye-bye to the Leopards defense. And Noble picks up a great block, and it's a touchdown. They're going to spot him just short, but what a great reverse play to Cole Barry. It's going to be first and goal on the Leopards one. So Miles Beard, Medeiros, and Justin Velasquez, the three receivers to the top. Aguero back to pass. He's looking downfield. And a great ball that's caught right at the goal line. A huge pitch and catch to number 89, Miles Beard. And the Leopards have a first and goal on the two. Back in the game, might have just gotten his bell rung, might have had his breath knocked out on that hit, but he is back in at quarterback. Kendrick Jamison, the back behind him. Rosemney in motion. It's going to be a reverse. Sander Wimmer's going to look to throw. He's got Radis in the end zone. Touchdown, Sage Hens. And a beautifully designed play, very patient, very methodical, but it worked perfectly for a touchdown, and Pomona Pitzer continues to roll. So Dominic Norris 
to Baker's right. Read option keeper for Baker. Baker's going to juke a defender. Baker's got it. Out across the five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pomona Pitzer. Clark Baker's second touchdown on the ground tonight. So third and long coming up for Whittier. Conversion is definitely needed. So Pinard back to pass. He's got pressure. Who else is it? It's Graham Olsen chasing him down. Gets another sack as Graham Olsen. He has been all over the place in the last four games. Another one that makes it eight total sacks in the last four games. And now two Martins left. So Martin back to pass. He'll look downfield. He's looking deep in the direction of Tapley once again. And Tyson Tapley comes up with a huge catch that's going to move the chains and get him into enemy territory. And three is the official down and distance. Trips to the bottom of your screen and a lone receiver to the top. Noble looks to the bottom of your screen. He's got Sander Wimmer. Sander going to make some man miss. Sander Wimmer's got a lot of room in front of him. Great downfield block by Ryan Rosemney. And Wimmer going to waltz into the end zone. Pomona Pitzer on the board for another touchdown. Rosemney, Quentin Wimmer to the top, Sander Wimmer, and Raddus to the bottom. Don Norris going to be in the game as the back. Noble takes a play-action pass on first down. He's looking downfield, doesn't see anything. He's going to be forced to evade pressure. Now going to roll out to his right, keeping his eyes deep downfield. He's looking downfield to Raddus, and Raddus going to hold in a big first down reception. The second time we've seen that from Skylar Noble and Will Raddus. So Gonzalez and Mason Cotton will now split out to the top, bunched receivers at the bottom of your screen. Edwards remains in the game to Cullen Camp's right. It's going to be a quick pitch to him and in the backfield comes in it's big number 90. George Cutting makes a big play after a first down pitch and catch. Going to give some momentum back to the hens on defense just what they needed. Slowing down Justin Edwards the big explosive back for the Sags. Sharangi has time to punt. Gets a good one away, a bit of a line drive. Going to head towards the end zone. I want a punt by Cameron Sharangi. Pins him inside the five. And Pomona Pitzer's defense going to have good position on the first drive. CMS going to have to get out with their backs against the wall. Low snap, Martin fills it cleanly. Looks to the back corner of the end zone. He's got his receiver, Jalen Jolly, in there for a Whittier touchdown. And the Poets... Going to shave this Sage Hen lead in half. Great offensive drive in the first drive for Jonathan Martin. To the trip to the top, single receiver to the bottom. Noble looks right, feels pressure in the pocket. Going to have to scramble out back to his right again. Looks downfield. He's got Radis deep, and Radis going to haul it in as it's a big first down catch for Pomona Pitzer. Great job by both Skyler Noble and Will Radis. Schlichting comes in motion now from left to right. Play action, Cullen Camp throws back. No one there. This ball might have been picked off. I think it was. Pomona Pitzer football. What a great play. And this sideline is erupting. The hands are going to have great field position. They're going to go to maybe want to just keep the ball on the ground and see if they can break something. A play action pass. Cullen Camp looks downfield into coverage and he's caught for a first down hauled in by Jackson Gonzalez across the 45 and great accuracy from Walter Cullenkamp three defenders blanketing around Gonzalez and just found the open hole to complete that pass for a first down Noble now goes under center be a quick pass to Quentin Wimmer he's going to double pass he's got a man in the end zone it's Radis hauled in and caught Touchdown, Pomona Pitzer, and the Sachins are on the board. So both Kendrick Jamison and Dom Norris and Will Raddus, that jumbo set, going to be behind Skylar Noble here on this second and goal. Be another toss sweep to Jamison. Jamison into a little halfback pass, and it's caught. Touchdown, Pomona Pitzer. It's going to be Clark Baker taking the snap. He was a quarterback in high school, do not forget. A pass is still definitely in order here. Quinn Wimmer to his left, Jamison to his right. It's a speed option to the left, and he's going to walk into the end zone. No one wants to touch him. Touchdown, Clark Baker. Touchdown, Sagens. Third and five for Laverne. Aguero back to pass. Pumps once. Rolls to his right, now to his left. Throws on the run, and he's got Medeiros open. Hauled in for the first down, excuse me, that was Spencer Poole. 
but what a great play by Miguel Aguero. Diaz back to pass. Looks downfield, pump fix. Now going to go to his left. He's got Norris in the flats, pump fix to him. Diaz showing he can do it with his legs. And a big run from Jackson Diaz out across the 40 to the 35. And a big first down pickup for the Sagens. So Dom Norris begins the half in at running back. He's number 34, steps up to block as Noble looks downfield. Going to Will Raddus, and this one's picked off. Intercepted by Connor Cryan. And a big time momentum shift for the Stags. Definitely will put Shirangi in field goal range. We missed one earlier, got blocked. Definitely looked like he had the leg, though, so we'll see what the Hens opt to do on third and long. Noble, he's going to load up and go deep to his man, Quentin Wimmer. Wimmer gets open. It's caught. Touchdown, Sage Hens. So Cullen Camp on third down. He's in the shotgun. Play action to Edwards. Sits in the pocket. Throws deep downfield to Schlichting, and it's caught. Hold in by Zachariah Schlichting inside the 10. Barry sits at his own 15. Hens look like they're going to come after this one. They do. Snap is blocked. The Hens block the punt. They pick it up. And they're racing to the end zone. Pomona Pitzer. A touchdown on a blocked punt. And the Hens take a two-score lead. Michael Ryan picks it up and goes in the end zone. And the fans are rocking and rolling here at Merritt Field. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, this is the first time I found myself sweating. Calling a game. A lot of moving around, a lot of jumping up and down. Alex and I were going crazy on that Michael Ryan scoop and scoring the touchdown. Broadcasters are athletes too. I'd like to make a note of that. So the Wimmers, Quinton and Sander, and Will Raddus to the top, Rosemney to the bottom. Tom Norris remains to Noble's left. He'll send Raddus in motion. Now back across to the top of the screen. It's going to be a QB draw. Noble's got a lot of room in front of him. Cuts up. He's got nothing but green in front of him. And touchdown, Skylar Noble. His second rushing touchdown of the evening. So CMS now is going to go quick, something they don't do a lot, trying to catch the hens off guard. It's another give to Edwards. Edwards busts through. Edwards has nothing in front of him. Pittman going to try to chase him down and going to drag him down, but not before he can get into the Sage Hen red zone. And that's the first time we've seen Justin Edwards break free tonight. And waiting on that one to happen in a big time run as the Stags are going to continue to go quick. In motion is Raddus. Blitz coming for the Stags. Across the middle to Will Raddus and a big shot by Michael Colangelo. That ball's on the turf and that's a Stags recovery. What a hit from Michael Colangelo across the middle. Up halfway through the first quarter, 7-0. Sagens lead the Leopards. Four receivers bunched over there to the top of your screen. Noble looks to the right, though. One-on-one -on -one to Quentin Wimmer. Touchdown! And what a great ball. Quentin Wimmer just showing his size and his ability. A wildcat. Fimbris looks like he'll take the snap. Motion's bandy in motion. Fimbris takes the snap. He's across the goal line. Touchdown, Laverne the ball again. Kendrick Jamison got a lot of running room. Jamison cuts it up and on the outside and he's got nothing but green in front of him. Touchdown Sage Hens. Kendrick Jamison continues his great rushing night into the end zone and the Sage Hens have broken 50. 55-7 PAT ensuing. Fourth and short. Noble rolls to his right. Pumps once. Wide open is Quinn Wimmer. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown Sage Hens. And the Sajans are well on their way to the first kayak title since 1955. Second down and 10. Here is Fogel back to pass. Looks deep. He's got Sincar open. Caught Anderson Sincar. A lot of green in front of him. Anderson Sincar is going to take it the distance. And the Stags not done yet. 90-yard touchdown from Fogel to Sincar. So here we go, folks. This is it. Half a second remains on the game clock. 20 to 14, Redlands leads. Hens knocking on the door. Noble looks, rolls to his right. It's caught! It's caught! Touchdown, Sagens! It's caught! And the Sagens sideline is going insane! 
They're an extra point away from winning this football game. So the QB Neal is on. The clock will tick towards zero. And Pomona Pitzer has won the Skyac for the first time since 1955. They'll head to the Division Three playoffs next week.